are you suffering from clogged arteries? Yes, arteries. Those arteries are all of those vessels that are responsible for transporting blood throughout the body. Your heart pumps blood from itself in an effort to supply nutrition and oxygen to the tissues, the organs, and even the bones, and even on a cellular level, oxygen and nutrition. And then the blood returns to the heart and it continues in a circular fashion. In other words, it constantly revolves. It's constantly going or moving on. It never ceases. That's one of those things that's involuntary, uh, the heart pumping blood throughout the body. So where does the clogged artery issue come in? As anything else, as I've said before, and I'm sure you read it, watched it, and heard it, that it's your diet. Now, I have a remedy for you uh, that can help you unclog your arteries. It's one of many, but this is what I found to be very uh, important. And the reason I say that is because when your arteries are clogged, particularly those that go to the heart, and if they're leaving the heart and they're clogged, you still have an issue as well. But anyway, just cleansing of the arteries, period. Uh, it's important to make sure that you have no interference in your blood circulation. Anything that slows down in your arteries is going to make any of us a prime candidate for stroke and heart attack. Because blood is vital to our survival. We need blood in our bodies circulating constantly without any hindrance whatsoever. So what has happened? Improper diet, improper combining of foods, and even medications on some level. And so there is a buildup of, I'm sure you probably have seen the pictures, but look, look it up or Google it, placation or plaque inside the arteries. It's like this. Maybe in the future, uh, I'll draw your picture on my whiteboard, but it's like this is the artery. What happens is the walls of the artery begin to build up this residue, and we call it plaque or calcification, if you will, is another term that some people use. But anyway, you make that entrance uh, or that space within that uh, diameter of that artery narrow. When you make it more and more narrow than it should be, then you make the blood have to force its way or the heart have to force the blood through there and that's where you get high blood pressure from. That's one of the reasons. But anyway, one of the natural ways that I have found to eliminate uh, the plaque in the arteries is a clove of garlic. This is about what a clove looks like. You know what garlic looks like, okay? A very powerful antioxidant. It is a natural blood thinner as well. Garlic is. Do your own due diligence and please look this up as well. Uh, one lemon, organic. What you want to do, cut the tips of the lemon off. Squeeze it into a container. This is my, my drink for this morning. My lemon and garlic drink. You want to squeeze it in here, cut the lemon up in pieces, drop it into your bullet or your processor or blender. Drop the piece of garlic in there after you already have taken the skin off of it. 8 to 10 ounces of water or 12 ounces of water even. Mix it up until it's a fluid, liquid. Did you know that you could actually liquefy a lemon peel? Yes, there is nutrition in the lemon peel. A lot of people don't know that. Excuse me. Uh, I want to tell you this before I go any further, and it's going to be a very short video. Garlic is a natural blood thinner. So if you are already taking blood thinners in the form of medication that your doctor prescribed, please make sure that you consult your doctor or your physician as to uh, whether or not 
it's safe for you to take the garlic as well uh, in addition to the uh, blood thinners that you may be taking because that could be a problem. I'm not saying it will be because every individual is different, but please consult with your physician first. Okay, now you should do this every morning before you eat anything upon rising. Again, one lemon, organic, one clove of garlic, along with eight ounces of water, mix it up, warm water, preferably. Drink it, should take less than five minutes to drink, just sip it until it's gone. And so do this every morning when you wake up for seven days on an empty stomach, seven days. Please condition and or discipline yourself to do this if you want to have relief from your clogged arteries. Now, after the seven days, you should experience a difference. I want to give you another one that I don't have before me, but you've seen me do this in videos in time past as well. This is an alternative to the one that I just gave you, this remedy here, and that is cayenne pepper. You want to take a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in a glass of eight ounces of water, warm water again. Now the cayenne peppers all come in various strands and or varieties and they contain what is called international heat units. For example, 1000 heat units is the degree of how hot it is. Or it can be 20,000 or 100,000 or 200,000 heat units. The higher the number, the hotter the pepper. So make sure that you start out with a couple thousand heat units at first to develop you know uh, a, not a resistance but to get used to it in other words so uh, if you're not used to eating something hot like that so um, make sure that you take a teaspoon again of cayenne pepper in the powder form organic and eight ounces of purified or uh, what is the other one uh, distilled water make sure your water is clean and pure not from the tap Okay, and you want to do that every morning for seven days. Now, while I'm talking to you, this is what I would do. I would not do the garlic, the cayenne pepper, and the lemon at the same time. You can do it. That's your prerogative. But if you're just starting out with this cleanse, do one or the other. As a matter of fact, if you do the lemon and the garlic one seven-day period, you can start the next seven-day period and do the cayenne pepper. Now, let me tell you this about cayenne pepper too, in case you don't already know. Cayenne pepper, because of its heat, uh, when it's taken on an empty stomach, it can make you feel very, very nauseated or even cause you to vomit. And that's because in the morning when you wake up, you're not supposed to have food in your stomach in the first place. So once you have that cayenne pepper water hitting that stomach and that hydrochloric acid and so forth in there it just caused sort of a volcanic eruption if you will and after about five minutes you're not going to be feeling well at all so my answer to you on that oh the other thing too is that it's going to make you sweat profusely for about five minutes it's just going to happen because it's hot but anyway um my suggestion to you on that is to make sure that you have uh a bowl of applesauce to sort of coat your stomach immediately after you drink the cayenne pepper let's say a couple minutes after you drink that that's what I've done in time past or you can have a cup of almond milk something to sort of coat your stomach and stop that reaction that your body is having to the cayenne pepper I just wanted to give you a heads up as far as that's concerned now uh, I said this wasn't going to be a very long video but I would be remiss if I don't comment on what's causing your arteries to be clogged up in the first place. Um, you want to eliminate dairy from your diet. I know, brother teacher, I can't take my cheese out of my diet. Yes, you can. If you really want to have optimal health, you can take the cheese out of your diet. There are things that you can replace the cheese with, and it's not even a matter of replacing cheese. It's a matter of taking care of your health and living as long as you possibly can. A wholesome, vibrant life 
and your family can enjoy you a lot longer on this earth as opposed to you killing yourself early because of bad choices as it relates to your diet. So you want to eliminate dairy from your diet. You don't have to go cold turkey and do it all at one time. You can eliminate it over a period of time. You and only you know how much you ingest daily. That means that even your children should have no dairy in their lives. Dairy, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. Dairy, when it's consumed in your stomach, it carries a protein to your blood system. Okay, and I'm not a doctor explaining this. This is brother teacher explaining it from my own study and research over the years. It carries a protein in it that's absorbed into your blood. Where's your blood? Your blood is in your arteries, of course, running through your arteries. Now, what happens is that this is excess protein. This protein in its excess is not supposed to be in your arteries. So the response from your body is that this protein begins to uh, chew away, for lack of a better term, the walls of the artery. Now because your body is always trying to defend itself, it begins to build a putty or a paste or a plaque. It calcifies to re replace that damage that's been done to the arteries. And in the process of building that plaque, even though the body is doing something good to protect itself against this excess protein, so while it's building that wall, that wall is consequently making the hole more and more and more and more narrower. It's making it smaller. And so when it makes the walls of the arteries smaller than, it, than nature has already given it to us to be, when it makes those walls smaller, that blood that was gushing through there at first now has to force, be forced through there. And then your heart is working harder to get the blood through the arteries. And ultimately what happens is that some of those arteries completely close off. And when they close off, Guess what's going to happen, depending on where the artery is. It's going to be a heart attack. It's going to be a stroke to the brain. Or maybe even both. So, I know for a fact that milk products, dairy from cattle, in whatever form. I don't care if you have cookies that's been made with milk. I don't care if you have uh, cheese that has milk that it was made with. Get away from it it causes heart issues down the road just because you haven't experienced it yet doesn't mean that you won't and just because you have had a relative uh, or your family your grandfather your your mother or father who have lived to be 90 or 100 years old stop using that old excuse oh they live we had milk all of our lives since my parents were kids and they've never had a heart problem they lived to be 80 and 90. it just depends on the person because maybe they would have lived longer had they not had that in their diet. It just depends on the individual. But I'm telling you what has been medically proven. And because milk brings in billions of dollars annually to the dairy industry, they're not going to tell you anything negative about milk. Instead, they're going to continue to promote it even more. Because why? They have become used to the monetary benefit. Real simple. They don't care about your health more than they care about the profit. That's what I'm trying to get to, okay? And it should make good sense to you. What makes the people who make our food care about us? They care about what? Money. They're in the business to make money at the expense of our health. And if you don't know this already, don't know what to tell you. But anyway, you want to eliminate. And if you have to do it in steps, Eliminate dairy from your diet. The other thing that you want to do is eliminate meat, particularly beef. Do I eat meat? I'll be honest with you. I do. I don't eat beef any longer. Beef is the biggest culprit 
for heart disease. Don't care what anybody tells you. It is. Do your research. Beef causes heart disease. It causes cancer. It becomes acidic in your body. Meat does. Now, I, as I'm speaking to you at this video, in this video, I eat fish, wild caught fish, and I bake it. I don't fry fish, okay? But I eat it in minuscule amounts right now. But I used to eat it in abundance. You see the difference? I'm weaning myself off of it. Because I, like you, many of you, have eaten meat since I was a child as, as well. I came from down south. So that was one of our staples, of course. So I have eliminated most of the fish that I eat. And when I do eat it, I bake it. Best way to eat meat if you're going to eat it. Secondly, turkey. I eat turkey in small amounts. Okay, I used to eat it in abundance, but I don't any longer. I don't eat uh, deli meat because it has nitrates in it and it's not good for you. It's so full of sodium as a preservative, it is unhealthy for us to consume. And that includes your hot dogs, your brats, your mets, brats works, whatever you want to call them, your sausages, anything that's in the skin that comes out of the machine. Okay? You want to eliminate those over a period of time. I said this before in a previous video. I'm not advocating that you become a vegetarian or a vegan. I'm not. But what I am advocating is that you take better care of your health. That's what I'm advocating. Now, a year from now, if I'm completely a vegetarian or a vegan, so be it. It was in the cards. But right now, I eat wholesomely. I don't, as much as I understand anyway, eat anything that's not organic. And mind you, a lot of things that they say are organic are not, but that leaves the burden to us to do some research. We must study and we must diligently study and stop just taking people's word for everything. Okay? So I gave you two remedies to clean up your arteries. One was a clove of garlic along with a lemon, organic, mixed up into a juice every morning for seven days before you eat anything. Now, after you drink it, wait about a half an hour. After that, it's already assimilated in the body and you're good. You can eat what you want to eat within reason, of course. Or the other alternative was the cayenne pepper. And one teaspoon and eight to 10 ounces or 12 ounces of water, warm water. Okay, stir it up, drink it, take your time and sip it. And remember the after effect of the cayenne effect, uh, pepper for some people anyway, is that it will possibly, possibly irritate your stomach. And so you might want to have some applesauce sitting on the side or some, uh, what did I say, uh, some almond milk or even coconut milk, okay? And you want to drink that to coat your stomach. And I will say this before I leave also as it relates to the cayenne pepper. Don't be alarmed that when you go to the bathroom and have a bowel movement that is hot, guess what that is? It's the cayenne, it's the cayenne pepper, it's pepper. So it's gonna go in hot and it's gonna come out hot. But the more you do this, you won't receive that <laughs> sensation of it coming out hot after a while because your body will have become accustomed to it. Anyway, I hope that this was of some value to you all. And here's to your good health. Make sure you take care of it because this is the only body that we have that the Almighty has given us. I love you and Yahweh love you. And I'll see you in the next video. So long.